Amelia Namias takes us behind the scenes of a popular Virginia beauty pageant. Makeup, skimpy clothes, provocative poses, the world of children's pageants is more popular than ever thanks to shows like Toddlers and Tiaras and Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. And the Valley has our very own mini diva. Meet Honey Toot Toot. Chrislyn Ward is a three-year-old beauty queen who's been in 50 pageants since she was 20 months old. She's taking us behind the scenes in the tiny Miss Virginia pageant, the oldest and most prestigious pageant in the state. Every parent takes this weekend very seriously, and that's including Chrislyn's mom, Shelly Ward. I mean, one of her dresses was 500 and some dollars, so. <laughs> and I'm like, I've never had a $500 dress. The steam, the steam knocks the wrinkles out of the dress. It's not the dresses that are the problem for Chrislyn. She hates getting ready. All right, we're almost done. A couple more on the bottom and then you're done. Workout. We have to remember that she is only three years old. This pageant also allows baby contestants six to 23 months old. For them, it's pretty much the same ordeal. And you wouldn't put as much makeup on a baby, just a little powder, blush, lip gloss, mascara. When girls take this stage, it might be all fun and glamorous, but when does it cross the line? Tiny Miss pageant director Gail Jones tries to keep her pageants as natural as possible and discourages this behavior. They're spraying those six to 23 month olds and it's just, I think it's, I think it's inhumane. I don't want to get tan. Yeah. I don't want to. Even though Chrislyn didn't want to spray tan this time. No, mommy, I don't want to tan anymore. She does like the makeup. I like how you put my lip gloss on. Yeah. Joan says competing can be harmful if parents don't have the proper perspective. She says parents can hurt their kids by being too competitive. She's got a monitor in her mouth. I've seen some ugly moms, but I have a strict policy in my pageant as far as sportsmanship conduct goes. Jones gives a warning, and they sit out for a year. The second time, they can't come back, period. But she knows how competition goes. I was a pageant mom, and I was competitive. And it's not all for fun, It's but it's the same concept as baseball. And Ward also understands that. And I know that it's a competition, but if we win, we win. If we lose, she's still our queen at home. And a queen on the stage, too. She likes to shake and take pictures, and she likes the camera, and she told the little girls, that's my cameraman, he's videotaping me. <laughs> the struggle and preparation are nothing compared to the smile on Chrislyn's face and the friendships she makes. It's all worth it to Ward. When she gets off of the stage, and she is so proud of herself, and she comes running to me, and I just say, Chrislyn, way to go, you're awesome, and she just gives me this big, Hug. It just makes me feel so good that she has the confidence in herself. Joan says pageants teach girls how to get up in front of people, which could help them later on in life in job interviews or at school. So harmful or helpful, you decide. But to Jones, <sighs> they do get awfully competitive, but it's the little ones that do it for. At the Tiny Miss pageant, Amelia Namias, WHSV News 3. Well, Chrislyn got third runner-up this weekend. That means she will move on to the national competition in March. <clears throat> and she will be eligible for more scholarships and savings bonds. The Wards save all her prize money for college.